Okay, mate, that's the end of part one of those. I'll do part two. And by the way, happy Easter for Easter Monday. I should have said it before. We're going to go to a clone 395 now. So it'll be some fun. And I don't know how, how much this store has done work wise. It's pretty brand new, far as I know. I don't pretend they're all pumped up. I mean, it's done, it's all done. No cutting yet. So I might have to chew it, don't know yet. This is going for a big ball. So, um, bar and chain stuff on it. We're going to find something in the wood yard to cut up. We are all day, day. And day off myself. Had some fun. Anyway. What have we got this time? I took a handful of chains off the shelf. Some are super sharp. The old way is that some are a different way of them now. Top angles on, on the, um, as you saw, cut it sharp in too. So that's chicken in the bag. Untangle. The semi chisel, okay. Put that on there. And I'll, I'll boil you a good part. Um, a bit of on there, more um, do some cutting. I've got you on all on this really bit. We're going to warm her up and we'll do some cutting. See how she goes. I'll show you guys this. I forgot to bring my plain screwdriver. And because the 395 for the chain is right down here, so it's hard to get to. Other oh, guys don't like it, but I'm normally doing a um, plain screwdriver. Get in here. I'll do it best I can. I get the scrunch on there. That's it. Where it is. I like that because once it goes on, it not doesn't come loose again. But anyway, I'll get this up. Just to show you. That's 395 for you. Okay, yeah, we're trying to start this 395 up. Don't pay attention to this. Um, but I do it here near the car because if it plays up, I'm not carrying it all the way down the yard to do wood cutting. It's a pain in the house to carry a saw. It's not strong like it used to be. It's a heavy saw. I enjoy the weight some ways, but I like it to start easy. Take one, pick on. Yep. I will try and start that. Take on that one. Yeah, it's on. Oh. Pop straight out. That's interesting. Oh, I don't like that. I got need a new, new decon there. What's cool with that? Yeah, but, um, okay, I'll show you guys. There's the decon there. They do pop out, but um, not that easy. I'll zero down for you. I'm sure I started this one up. Maybe I haven't. So zoom in. Okay. So I'll push that valve in. Hope you can see it. It's in right now. I'm bugging already. Anyway, guys, I'll try to get the wood yard guy. He can pull over for me. He, he's younger, fit and stronger. I'll try one more time. Oh, God. That's off. That's on. I haven't heard far up yet. Do a choke again. No, I can't pull over. Big source, guys. Alright, I'll get the wood gouge while I do it. So, um, I've gone this far, I might as well tell you the rest. Now, yeah, that's as far as I can have the um, hood farmer. Um, I can't start the knee tech one. Um, so, I'm swapping over this power plugs. I've flooded it. I don't really feel it. I don't, don't think it's hard, but it has spark, but I've got, if I get in that spark plug, it'd be easier to start up. Now, just start that one again. Of course, that fuel. Okay. Should start straight up. The same um, spark plugs, same numbers and stuff. Then we'll stop it. Um, more or less our fuel. Well, that's 
spark plug does work, that was one out of the new tech. So I put this one here, because that one was wet, but it starts right up. So I don't have to call it, it's um, set properly on this one. I'll soon find out. If I can't start it, it will not go. I've added out, full acceleration, and pulled it until um, that heats the air go through it. So if anything, it should start now. Fast oil, I'm not using choke. Go on, go to the floor again, and try to start her up. I'm more out the guy doing the wood yard, he's more out too, trying to start the thing. And didn't, um, the paws didn't um, engage one part there. He really pulled the arm off. He's not happy with it either. Try again. Have to start straight up. I know it's a spark. Weak spark, but it's spark. Before I don't like all the way from the car, so I know it goes. So we're back together. You need to come back as much as I can. On. <laughs> so we're going to do some cutting. That was flood so bad. But anyway, the hoof farmer, um, he's got the um, spark plug in there now. I'll probably stay there too. So, we'll get going. This will be good. Keep cutting. Let's try it back on. And get the gear going. Right, guys. This is it cutting. Well, my other creation is a big ball, that one there. Big ball 372. And that's a 365 um, poured medial piston. Now we go over to another spot. We're going to get rid of the um, wood guy. Don't get any spot, blind spots. Get run over or squashed. Now, I don't blame Near Tech at all. I must have flooded it the first couple of pulls. But I'm not used to this particular, not used to this particular saw. Oh God, guys, my mouth is getting dry. <coughs> in hard talk. So we'll go over here, so he knows where I am. Sort of out of his road. Over here before, but they're free at 3120. That big bar. I'll fish it off one day. But it's easy for me to walk through here back and squash. So, watch out for jumping ants, or bull ants. Big nests just down here. They hurt when they bite you. Eat cranky too. We'll have them quick. And we've got some wood here sitting up. Got two bits here I can cut. I'm the tattooed piston before. Outside that log just there. They're tattooed piston down there quite easily. So I'll do a couple of cuts here, I suppose. See you up over here. This is just so I can know what this all was like before and after a port job. Hard to see, glare and stuff here. Sunglasses on. Oh yeah, she's right. Let's start it up, hopefully. No fast idle. Make sure she's on. On. Here come the out. Give me the sticks. That was a spin out of face. That hurt you big time. Hope it just does. Or maybe not. Okay, get the tool. See, you walk away from the car, things fall apart. Gosh, damn, baby. Alright, 
I gave me chills again. Hey now. What are we on call? Who wanna do it? Not easy sometimes. Some guys are pain in the butt. I get the stretch, I've got me tuning tool, but hang with the scrunch. Go back and walk there. Hang on, guys. Maybe my luck will change now. Oh, this we can.
short though. One last cut to this vlog. I'm doing a big tour after that. Try to use fuel up. Otherwise, it's turned off. We got full tank. Starting this in the beginning, which I think is my fault, I must have flooded it. It goes bloody good. It's got power. If you want a solar power, um, 372 is pretty good. 
the big ball is better, this is much better. But can you carry the weight? If you're not strong doing it one this big because it's really heavy, after a while it will take you But if you're doing um, milling or something like that, this would be an awesome saw for that. Really good easy vibration. Springs back, back and front, uh, under here. It's just a good saw that way. Good air filter too, so really it's a good saw again. But, um, I talked to the owners about the um, big hop out because it shouldn't pop out so easy like that. That's crap. Alright guys, moving on to the next saw. Oh come on, this saw. Next saw. Over now, thanks for watching.